Hey guys, and welcome back to Bad About Skin. In today's video, we're talking the five best ingredients for effective anti-aging skincare. Now, when we talk about anti-aging in skincare, our minds will automatically go to retinoids and sunscreens. These are true non-negotiables in a good anti-aging skincare routine. But what happens if we want to take our results further? Because everyone seems to focus down on retinoids and sunscreens, often the other amazing ingredients kind of get overshadowed. Well, in this video, I want to share with you five amazing ingredients that you can use alongside your retinoids and your sunscreens to kind of elevate your anti-aging results. Sit back, relax, let's talk the best anti-aging ingredients. Now, before we get into this video, just that quick reminder to do all that youtube stuff if you haven't already. If you could reach down and give this video a big thumbs up and a like, this honestly means the world to me as it's the best way of supporting me as a content creator. Here on Mad About Skin, I believe passionately that all content should be free to air and so there's never any charges for watching anything you see here on the channel. I also don't do sponsorships or paid partnerships as I think that helps me to retain my independence. So if you wanted to support me as a content creator and you're enjoying the video that you watch, Watching now, don't forget to just reach down and give that like button a gentle caress. And from the bottom of my heart, thank you so, so much. I would, of course, love to know your take on any of the ingredients mentioned today and any of your product recommendations. So let me know in the comment section below. But I think it's time we cut that waffle and just delve straight on in. So we've already talked about sunscreens and retinoids. These are the base of any effective anti-aging skincare routine and the non-negotiables. And I've linked to two videos in the description box below where I talk about my favorite sunscreens and my favorite retinoids. So if you haven't found your perfect pairing, hopefully those videos will help you out. But today I want to explore anti-aging a bit further than just those two categories of ingredients and look at some ingredients that might help us to elevate our results. First up, let's talk vitamin C. Now, vitamin C is an amazing ingredient that has so, so many benefits. And I think it's the best known and understood of all the ingredients that I'm going to talk about today. We're going to come on to some niche ones later on in the video. So if you wanted to jump to one section of the video over next, all the timestamps are in the description box below. But I love a little vitamin C action in my skincare routine. And that's the main reason I've dressed as an orange for you guys today. Vitamin C will help over time boost the levels of collagen and elastin production, which is great for minimizing fine lines and wrinkles. Also fades hyperpigmentation, dark spots and discoloration, which happen to be the number one skin concern that we report as we age. The uneven skin tone that can add years to our appearance and really damage our skin confidence. Well, vitamin C kind of does away with all of that. So it's got multiple different benefits. I think the issues with vitamin C is, is it can be a little unstable, so hard to store, and not everyone will get on with vitamin C. I know so many of you guys out there say, I tried it, it stung, it irritated my skin, it just didn't work for me. So I've got a couple of recommendations I'm going to make now. Don't give up on vitamin C, just find the right one for you. So, best all-rounders are these two. So, if you're shopping from the UK or the European Union, this is the Geek & Gorgeous C Glow. Made fresh so it lasts a lot longer than some other vitamin C's. Great if you're someone that doesn't get through your products that quickly. It's a great option, but it's also a great strength with added antioxidants. This is my personal favorite vitamin C of all time, bar none. I absolutely adore it. And I've linked it as I will all the products in the description box below. But yeah, this, a true holy grail. Not the easiest to get if you're shopping in the US or Canada. So if you're in the North American market, then Timeless Vitamin C, this is the 10% version, which is similar, if not exactly equivalent, is a great option that's easy to get your hands on in the US in particular, and a great, great product. I love this because again, it's got those antioxidants alongside it. And I think between Geek and Gorgeous, and Timeless, we have some amazingly affordable and some wonderful vitamin C serums. Now, both of those work great if your skin tolerates ascorbic acid, pure form vitamin C. If it doesn't, don't feel that you have to abandon vitamin C altogether. Kind of work with the ingredient to maybe mix it up a little bit to make sure you minimize irritation. You can opt for this. This is the PSA Skin Light Up Mask, which is a product that you use a couple of times a week 10 minutes at a time. So rather than leaving it on like you would say that timeless product all day, you put this on for 10 minutes, then you rinse it away. That shorter contact time will minimize irritation and the fact you're just using it twice a week will further reduce the risk. 
Less irritation, but still great results from a really effective vitamin C. So this is one of my personal favorites. Uh, I do actually have a 20% discount code for PSA. They're already quite affordable, but I've got a 20% discount code, which again, links below, which just takes the price down even further. I use it twice a week, boost your radiance and your luminosity. It's just amazing. And then finally, for those that have ridiculously sensitive skin, but want the best performing of the vitamin C derivatives, let me talk about this. This is the Dr. Sam Vitamin C NAD Serum. So this is stunning because it uses my two favorite forms of vitamin C derivatives in sky high concentrations, alongside some calming and soothing ingredients and that NAD, which is just going to supercharge the skin. Vitamin C derivatives actually convert to pure form vitamin C in the skin, so they're much more gentle. You don't get that instant hit on contact, and so they're great for people with sensitive skin. I think there's a lot of really affordable vitamin C derivatives out there. I love the ones from The Ordinary in particular. But I think if you're looking for a real potent blend, taking it all together alongside some other great calming and soothing ingredients, this probably the best one on the market. And I'd say, if you're someone that's never really been able to get on with vitamin C, try this, you will be blown away. I absolutely love it. So I said vitamin C was the most obvious of the um, ingredients in today's video. I'm gonna come on to, I think one that, another ingredient that a lot of us will have heard about, copper peptides. Now, copper peptides are a huge trend in skincare, lots of brands coming out with their options, but they often come with a high price point. So that could put a lot of people off. But I think copper peptides are a wonderful addition to an anti-aging skincare routine because they have two key benefits. First and foremost, the way that they interact when they're in the skin, they kind of trick our skin into believing that some collagen has been broken apart, so it needs to produce more. So it convinces the body to produce more collagen in the skin, which over time will reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. This is an amazing benefit, but it doesn't stop there. Copper peptides also break apart in the skin to the ingredients needed for the body to produce that collagen. So I always say, it's like giving the body the recipe book for the collagen cake, and then giving it all the ingredients to bake that cake in the first place. This is why I think copper peptides are super, super important in an anti-aging skincare routine. And they, they just, for me, they've delivered. I've used them consistently for years. And I think they've delivered just as much, if not a little bit more, than my retinoids. Consistency is key, as with anything, but I think copper peptides definitely a key element of an anti-aging skincare routine. And there's three that I'm gonna recommend. This is my own product. This is the Mad About Skin Skin Perfecting Peptide Serum. Has a 3% concentration and have encapsulated copper peptides, meaning this is great for people that don't wanna worry about layering and pairing. If you've heard all of the horror stories about what you can and can't use with copper peptides, and it's just made you never want to reach for them, use this. Because that copper peptide is encapsulated, it means that you can use it alongside your vitamin C, your retinoids, you don't have to worry about any of that. It's also in a sky high concentration, that 3%, but that encapsulation is gonna minimize the risk of any sensitivity and irritation. So great if you've got sensitive skin too. I wanted to create this to be, to take away some of the fear that people have around copper peptides, just make it super easy, user friendly, to slot into your skincare routine. And if you want to know more about this, I'll leave a link to a video I did up there, definitely one to check out. But yeah, if you're looking for simplicity alongside a sky high concentration of copper peptides at an affordable price, this, is a great option, even if I might be a little biased. There are some others. This is the Skin 1004 Pore Minimizing Fresh Ampule. I absolutely adore this. Um, it looks ridiculously small, but this is actually a 30 ml serum, and this comes with copper peptides alongside so many other peptides too. Really nice, lightweight, budget-friendly too. I love this one, and I used to use it a lot in my skincare routine. Yes, I've switched out to the Mad About Skin one because I like the encapsulation, but it doesn't mean that this one won't work. It's a wonderful option, a great Korean skincare brand. For me, I take a look at either the Mad About Skin one or the Skin 1004 one, work out, you know, between those two, really easy to slot into your skincare routine and a great way of elevating your anti-aging. Now, we're definitely coming into the niche ingredients in this section of the video. First, I want to talk about tranexamic acid. So, tranexamic acid is great for preventing premature aging. Our skin, we often seem to be tackling what's already there. You know, we've got the fine lines and wrinkles, let's do something about them. But remember, prevention is always going to be better than the cure. So, prevent aging, and then you kind of have less to deal with. Tranexamic acid is a key part of that, because it calms, 
it soothes and it's anti-inflammatory. Now, inflammation is the number one trigger for the appearance of hyperpigmentation, dark spots and discoloration. So anything we can do to calm and soothe our skin down is going to prevent some of that, that appearing. I love tranexamic acid for doing just that. My favourite, favourite tranexamic acid product is this. This is the Mary and May tranexamic acid plus glutathione eye cream. This not only prevents um, hyperpigmentation, that inflammation in the first place, but the glutathione in here is also going to fade any that already exists. So a double whammy. The best when it comes to tranexamic acid. And you can't, this is an eye cream. You can use it all over the face, no problem at all. Now this one has a slight amount of fragrance in it, which I personally love, but isn't going to be for everyone. If you want a fragrance-free tranexamic acid, then the Extra Glow Serum by Face Theory is phenomenal. Absolutely love this. Again, multiple different brightening ingredients, but whether you go for the Merriam May or the Face Theory, get a little tranexamic acid in your life, prevent the aging from happening, then you've got a lot less to tackle down the line, and tranexamic acid is just wonderful for doing that. Now, next up is a little hidden gem of an ingredient called DMAE. Now, that's not its actual name. It's got, that's an abbreviation of a ridiculously long scientific name. But DMAE is fabulous for increasing firmness and elasticity. So, so far, we've talked about ingredients which are going to reduce the appearance of hyperpigmentation, minimize the appearance of wrinkles. All amazing. But if you want to tighten things, you know, get that snatched jawline, lift everything up a bit, you can do that with DMAE. Now, the key is the concentration. Most brands will put this ingredient somewhere in the ingredients list hidden with a small dose. You actually need a good concentration of about three to 5% to actually see the results. So make sure you look, know exactly what concentration you're getting and use the right amount. My favorite being Stratia Rewind Serum. This is phenomenal. 3% concentration of DMAE. This is going to work so, so well for you. It's also got some other great beneficial ingredients, but it's that DMAE that's doing the heavy lifting here. Use one pump of this all over the face once a day. And trust me, within 28 days, you will notice that firmness and elasticity improve. I tried it. I've been blown away and I loved it. Now, it went out of stock for a long time, which is why I don't have it now, but it recently came back. I put my order in for like three bottles of it because I never want to be without it again. Great DMAE, wonderful. If you know the concentration that the brand are offering, make sure it's in that three to 5% strength and it's wonderful for just lifting and tightening everything up. Works great on the eyelids as well. You can use it along the eyelids, particularly that Stratia one, again, just to get rid of any crepiness and give a little bit of a lift. Now, finally, Let's talk growth factors. I feel this has been a bit of a whistle stop tar, but these are five amazing ingredients that hopefully by understanding a little bit more about them, you'll know how to elevate your anti-aging routine. Now, growth factors are wonderful at promoting a overall health of the skin, which is really important, but promoting that collagen and elastin production further. You can use growth factors alongside copper peptides to double down on those benefits, and they're relatively new technology in skincare. Now, I covered growth factors in a separate video, which I'm going to leave a link to up there. However, in a nutshell, using them consistently will increase collagen, decrease the depth of fine lines and wrinkles that you have. And the studies in growth factors are coming back some really positive data points, which I love to see. Now, growth factors do come with a higher price point. Uh, the best on the market, bar none, is this. This is the Allies of Skin Multipeptides and Growth Factors Advanced Lifting Serum. I experimented with this, used it continuously for two months, and I saw great results. If your budget stretches to it, it is the best of the best, bar none. And again, I did manage to blag a discount code for it, which is still going to be expensive, but it's 20% less expensive than otherwise would be. So again, that's in the description box below. However, if your budget doesn't stretch to this, then you could absolutely use the Stratia Interface Serum as an alternative. Not quite as technologically advanced, but it's still got that growth factors, a fraction of the cost, and gives you a good option for those of us on a budget. Either way, using growth factors continuously, you're going to see some great anti-aging results. Quicker if you use a product like this, but if your budget doesn't stretch to it, have a little patience, use the Stratia, and it will definitely, definitely pay off. Growth factors for me are a true, like, hidden gem. Those alongside DMAE, I think, are the two most niche in this video, but the ones that could provide really great anti-aging benefits. So I know that was a bit of a whistle-stop tour of effective anti-aging skincare ingredients, but hopefully this might just have given you a little food for thought when it comes to your own skincare routine. There is no right and wrong. Use what your budget and your time will allow, but know that there are more in terms of anti-aging ingredients than just retinoids 
and sunscreen. Those two are the key non-negotiables, but you can build up from there. And hopefully this video will help you doing just that. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.